day 113, the first day of week 17, believe it or not, uh, Wednesday. Um, I am at the Catamount Motel in Bennington, Vermont. So uh, we got in here last night and um, I met a guy on trail who through hiked the AT in 2018, but he's through hiking the long trail this year. Uh, the first 105 miles of which sh shared with the AT. So I crossed paths with him yesterday, and then we reconnected at the shelter, that Cog Congdon shelter that I shot a video of. He came in right when I was getting ready to leave again and said he wanted to share this hotel room with me. He was going to go ahead and come on into Bington because it, it rained. It rained on, on us uh, late yesterday. I think I caught a little bit of that on video. So that was good. So I had someone to split the room with, and, and I... I had just a single, but I'll spin the camera around after a while and show you the room. It ended up being a double, which was really nice. Now, I'm probably going to be in here by myself tonight, but this place does have a bunkhouse also. Someone mentioned that, and I said, no, AT guy doesn't, doesn't say anything about it. But sure enough, right at the end here, there is a, there's, a, there's a large room that they turned into a bunkhouse. Maybe that just happened this year. I've got to get gut hooks, so I'm going to research that today. Um, it's after it's afternoon. We had a late breakfast at a diner. There's there's besides besides the guy that stayed with me yesterday. Uh, his name is Machine, by the way. There's four other folks. One of which I hiked with yesterday. Uh, a gal named Green. So really, again, just I'm just met some awesome folks. They just left. I'm by myself again. Um, the whole thing about a barbecue at Pikachu's is a mess. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the last status of my packages are, but I'm expecting at least one today. But I don't think my top quilt's going to come until tomorrow. Uh, last I looked, delivery expected by 7 p.m. tomorrow. And Pikachu's barbecue about, I don't, I don't know where she is, between 15 miles, 30 miles north of here, um, is, is going to be tomorrow evening. Um, or maybe Friday. I don't know. I haven't got all the details on it. So I don't, I'm definitely zeroing today, obviously, but I think it's going to be a full zero tomorrow, just waiting on my top quilt and potentially, as soon as I get that, getting a shuttle up north of here so I can be part of the festivities at Pikachu's places. I really don't want to miss that. You know, that's, that's part of that, that trail. It's one of those things you remember. I don't know. I think that's more important than fretting over some lost miles. I'm, I'm Maybe I'll catch Will, you know, trash. Maybe I won't. You know, at this point, he's probably two days ahead of me. So, um, so I got a lot, of, a lot of things to do today. Uh, just, just research kind of stuff. I just finished bucket washing, a lot of stuff. Um, washed my shoes last night or this morning, actually, before we went to the diner for breakfast. So it, it's a great little place. I'm gonna spin it around real quick, shoot a little video of the inside, and and then that's it. Bye. So he had booked me in a, a single room for $55, which is unheard of, you know, but it ended up being a double, which worked out really well because I had a roommate last night, like I said. So nice room, nice room. And then there's a, at the end of the, uh, you know, it's your classic little roadside motel, you know. But we were wondering last night what that little hiker symbol is on that door. Well, it ends up that is, that's the bunkhouse. So uh, a girl just uh, moved in there for uh for the day so for the night so there you have it the catamount motel two days ago i had this mishmash pair of Njinji socks that i found in the upper goose pond cabin and uh they were thicker in Njinji socks and i just used them to um give me some extra cushion on my uh, shoulder straps because i think I, the last time i washed them i think i i soaked them down good and washed them in salisbury connecticut and, and i think that that cushioning is getting lost I don't know if you can tell, but I, I really, it's, it's healed up now, but I really had an abrasion on my shoulder here, and it scabbed up. Um, so uh, wearing those socks really helped. I've done that, I've done that for years, but uh, they're not secured to the strap in any way. So if the straps get loose or I take the pack off and they drop to the ground, I probably am not gonna know it. Well, anyway, long story short, uh, the, those pair of Ajinji socks that I started with three days ago, they just appeared yesterday morning I couldn't find them so I went to one of those free pairs that I got from the church trail magic um, uh, God, what was that now four days ago in Great Barrington and I switched to that and I lost one of those uh, yesterday so I lost I lost uh, one sock yesterday 
and my reading glasses, I mentioned that the, I think I mentioned in one of the videos in the past that the screw kept coming loose. Well, sure enough, right when I got to that last shelter, that Congan shelter, the screw came out and the earpiece fell off. And I fortunately, I, I was able to capture the screw and the earpiece. And I stuck those in my pack, put the screw in my toiletry bag so I wouldn't lose it. So I only had one earpiece and I slid that, put that in the slots. Sure enough, it popped out and I lost my glasses. So I lost one sock and those reading glasses. And that's the longest, those reading glasses are the longest ones I've had yet. So you might remember in Great Barrington, there was a Dollar Tree and I picked up a pair of reading glasses. I just had it buried in the bottom of my pack. So that's, I'm down to one pair of reading glasses now. Unfortunately, I had that $1 pair of reading glasses in the bottom of my pack. So <laughs> just uh, another, you know, story of, of my life, uh, losing stuff like that. But on the upside, when I was emptying everything out here at the hotel, I found that first pair of mismatched in Gingy socks. <laughs> um, they were on the outside of my pack liner down in the bottom of the pack. So, you know, I lost one sock, uh, found uh, a previously thought missing pair of socks. So, eh, mixed bag. <laughs> it's just, such is life. I did not sleep as well in this bed, even though at first it seemed like this bed mattress was more comfortable. I took the 50 milligrams of trazodone uh, right when I went to bed, had another 50 on hand. And uh, night before last, uh, at the Willows Motel in Williamstown, I, I didn't need that second 50 milligram dose until 4 a.m. That was the best ever. Um, last night, I had to take it pretty early. I can't remember exactly the time, but I woke up again at 4 a.m. needing a third dose. And I didn't, I just took a Benadryl and it's, it, cause I don't want to jump to 150 milligrams of trazodone. I took the, I took the Benadryl and I slept fitfully from 4 p.m. on, from 4 a.m. on. Uh, we slept in late, uh, probably got up about 7.30, 8, 8 o'clock-ish. But yeah, I'm disappointed, man. I did not sleep, sleep as well last night. So um, I'm supposed to get the trace of dome today from home. I'm gonna evaluate what my, how much I have, and I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna eventually go up to 150 milligrams a night. I think I'm gonna start off here pretty soon with 100 milligrams going to bed and then keep 50 on hand for if I wake up in the wee hours of the morning. Um, God, you know, I just, I gotta do it. Hey, good and talk. It is uh, day 114, 114 and uh, Thursday, and I am still in Bennington waiting on my packages. Status has not changed from yesterday. The last package, the Amazon shipment, via UPS, is expected, quote unquote, by 7 p.m. So this morning, you know, the status hadn't changed. I go to, to renew my hotel room another night, or preferably get into the bunkhouse for $35 a night, it's cheaper. Everything is booked up. I was crushed. So I ended up paying even more money for another hotel, seven tenths of a mile farther down the road. But here I am in the town square of Bennington, uh, where uh, um, uh, the presidential contender, uh, Bernie Sanders, was mayor. This is how he started his political career. I mean, it's a nice little town, but it's not that nice. I'm headed to the Goodwill, just trying to kill some time. Um, I got plenty of time to check into the, ho the new hotel and plenty of time to wait for my packages. I'm gonna go to Goodwill, go to the post office, get an envelope, ship some stuff back to Keegan. Some, um, you know, assuming I get my new top quilt, I'm not gonna need his homemade Costco top quilt, so I'll ship that back to him, as well as his bug net, which I don't need now. I have another bug net. But, uh, yeah, just, just really frustrating, really frustrating. On a positive note, I don't know if I mentioned it in yesterday's videos, but Pikachu is coming through for me. I mean, I offered to take a bus up north to get as close to her place as possible to minimize the time that her or her boyfriend would have to drive to pick me up. She just replied back last night and said she's coming Friday. She doesn't know exactly when. She's gonna drive all the way down here to Bennington, pick me up, take me back to her place for this barbecue party and to stay at her place Friday. So tomorrow, Friday, will be another zero, but it's, it's worth it. Uh, like I said before, for the sense of community. And uh, so I'll be back here probably Saturday here in town, Bennington, and get back on trail Saturday. I mean, that's what, one, two, three, is that four zero days? Oh my God. Uh, 
three three zeros three three zeros having a late lunch at Ramuntos, I think is the name of this place. Sweet. Hey, it's almost 6.30, and I'm in this new hotel down the street, so I, I had to vacate the kind of mountain hotel. No room at the inn for baby Jesus. And I'm now in the Starlight Motel. And I'll tell you what, the, uh, there is no starlight shining on this... Uh, on these premises. This is it's an embarrassment. I mean, you can kind of see behind me. This is this is a $75 a night crack house. It's bad. It's, it's the worst hotel I've been in, I think, for any money. Um, I, I, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's terrible. I, I'm so disappointed. And it's, it's far removed from everything, too. Um, so I'm going to have to walk a mile into the city center tomorrow morning, possibly. I don't know. Oh, 6.30. Uh, still don't have my USPS package. I got the UPS package. Came around 3 p.m. I just come back from uh, from that lupper at late lunch, that pizza. And uh, there it was. And so I got my top quilt. I'm not going to bother showing video of it, but I'm pleased. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, it's, it's light. It's fluffy. Um... Yeah, it's everything I expected, so it's, it looks, looks really good. I'm, I'm happy with it. But now I'm waiting on the UPS package from John, my brother John, uh, which has my trazodone and uh, some other cold weather stuff, my hammock, my hammock under quilt. I mean, these are, these are important items. And the UPS, I'm sorry, the USPS website still says expected delivery today by 7.30 p.m. So they've got an hour. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with the Postal Service, but um, those those guys at the Catamount Motel are so super nice, though. I mean, that is the place to stay for through hikers. He said, um, one of the guys there, Alan, the guy who does most of the shuttling, they have free shuttles back and forth through the trail, and, and he even took me up to the Walmart this morning. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, terrific. Um, but, um, and he brought me down here to the Starlight Hotel also. But he said that he, when it comes in, he would bring it to this hotel for me to keep me from walking back again. So I'm hoping it comes in this evening so I can get out of this guy for a second place in the morning and burn whatever hours I need to downtown at the Welcome Center, I'm thinking, maybe, or the library, until Pikachu is ready to come into town to pick me up. And I, I hope that's early in the day. Um, having learned my lesson about delaying hotel rooms in this high season uh, for hikers or you know you got AT north bounders you got AT south bounders and here you got the long trail also long trail through hikers so these these hostels and little hotels that cater to hikers are going to fill up fast so the next town that I'm going to go into resupply town is Manchester Center and if I get back on trail this Thursday Friday night is at Pikachu's if I can get back on trail Friday I'll be at Manchester Center on Monday so I went ahead and put, uh, made a reservation for a hostel, a popular hostel. It's one of the first hostels you can, you know, it, it really, I, I guess it is the first hostel other than that Salisbury, what was in Salisbury, Connecticut, if you consider that a hostel. This is the first real hostel since, since Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. Um, and it's so it's popular and it gets full. So I called and made a reservation for Monday night. Here it is Thursday. I made a reservation for Monday night because that's where I'll be Monday night if all goes as planned. So, um, but I'm actually looking forward to getting back on trail. Um, so, uh, but I'm looking forward to this party tomorrow night too. So anyway, that's it. I, you know, enough rambling. It's, 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 it's been such a trying three days here in Bennington. And trust me, it's not, it's not that, it's not that nice of a town to spend three days in. It's okay, but. Not three days. Ugh. This is Wagner von Vanderbeg. Guten Nacht.